All right, in today's video, we'll be going over the piano room setting. So if I click on that, that'll turn off all the lights to the keyboard and it's mainly just for having fun and playing on the piano. Um, there are many things you can do with this. Number one is recording. So if I press one, the top one or the bottom one, it doesn't matter. It will say waiting. So it won't record until you start playing. So here, where's my pedal at? Oh, here it is. All right. So just. So now it's recording me. If I want to end it, I can press the green arrow, which is two and three, or I can just press one again. Um, It'll ask you if you want to save it or not. You can press yes, and it'll save it into a file. And we'll get into that into another video on how to get to those recordings and stuff. But I don't want to save that, so I'll just say no. Then we'll have to press exit. So we'll press 8 on the keyboard, and it'll send us back to the main area. The next thing you can do is um, you can change the type of piano you want to play on. It'll only give you the option of different pianos, I guess, because, yeah, so we got pop, uh, the grand piano, um, keyboard, vintage, and yeah, there's a couple more. Um, one of the special things, though, is with the pop grand piano and other pianos that look like this, I don't know if you can still see it good or not. Um, is you can change the lid position if you press four or five. So this is it fully open, close, halfway open, and you can just change that by pressing five or four. If you wanna go back, you can just press the bottom block underneath five and four. Um, or if you press both at the same time, it'll just reset it to the normal. Um, the next thing we'll go over is environment. So it will change the way your piano sounds based on where it's at. So you can make it sound like you're in a cathedral, which is this one right now. Or if I press seven or six, we can go to a concert hall or just have nothing or a room or a stage. I like cathedral the best. It's got like an echoey thing to it. You can change the lead position, all that stuff to go with that too. Um, and yeah, those are the main basic things for the piano room. The next thing we're gonna go into is settings. So when you're in the piano room, there'll be the cog wheel over here. If you press eight, it will take you to this. So the master tune is just gonna be tuning the piano. So if I just keep pressing this over and over again. So you can kind of hear it um, tightening and loosening the strings. If you want to reset to the normal, just hold the top and bottom of two or one, and I'll reset it to the normal. Um, the next thing is brightness. So just um, here. It's tough to explain, so I'll just do it. So if we want to turn the brightness up, doesn't really do a lot. It can't get any brighter than it normally is. It's mainly just to dull the sound, I guess. So we'll play it normally. This is a regular brightness. And now we'll start making it go down. And yeah, it just numbs the sound. So I'll just press the bottom and top of the buttons, these two right here together. And I'll reset it back to the normal. The next thing is touch. So this is based on the piano player. So I have it on medium right now, but if I put it on hard, that means I like playing the piano harder than normal. So I'll make it to where it won't be as loud when you play hard. So I really have to hit the keys hard for it to sound loud. Whereas if you have it on soft, that means you got to play soft and it'll still be loud.
And yeah, I don't usually mess with it that much. I'll probably just keep it on medium. And then VRM, I haven't quite understood it yet, but from what the manual says is that it has stuff to do with audio and USB and mic setting stuff. So once I figure that out, we'll get into that. But that is almost all the piano room settings except for VRM. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.